Public feud with Mr. Vegas brought Red Rat into the chatter sphere. Now well, check yourself, I am not the one who let your career took a dive. But where has he been all these years? He'll be here to tell us the live sampling of Grammy winning Rhythm Twins' latest work. Meet another overseas based dance solo. E news including a report from New York on Ragabash. Video stage and more are all coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Winfred Williams. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Cyclone is a Washington, D.C.-based Jamaican dance solo who happens to be on the island at this time and is about to introduce himself to us and to you. Cyclone. Welcome, Blessed boss. love, sir. Cool. So you're all Jamaican. Where in Jamaica are you from? Um, Waterford. Yeah. Yeah. How long in the U.S.? Um, well, I've been back and forth since I was a kid. Um, mm -hmm. I graduated from college in, in um, New York City. Okay. And then I moved to D.C. Okay. And music is your career or is it just by the way? Straight music. It's straight music? Straight music, yeah. So what did you study in college? Um, I did finance. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in finance. So Finance? Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, one. Finance. Wow. My mother so, always said, yo, brother, you can't be a banker. You can't be this. You can't be that. Why music? So you did it for your mom then? Well, I did it for myself, you know what I mean? Because I also have my own company, which is my music company. And, um, okay. You know what I mean? So it's always good to know the music side and the business side. Okay, so while you were studying, you were still moonlighting in music? Yeah, man, doing my thing all the time, you know. Yeah? <laughs> but, and you knew then that you were going to make it a full-time career? Yeah, man. Music? From, from a, well, I went to Bridgeport High School here in Jamaica. Yes. So I graduated from Bridgeport. From, I was in high school, I just music, you know, mm -hmm. from beat, from desk and everything, so music all the way. So what's the dancehall reggae scene like in D.C.? Um, we don't know nobody from D.C. doing <laughs> reggae. D.C. is politics. It's, you yeah. Know. Um, you know, it's so pretty powerful. Um, a lot of people might just say, well, New York, or they might say Miami, but yes. the, things are going at D.C. D.C. are going? Yeah, man, things are going. Some people look upon it as country, but because I'm between D.C. and Philadelphia also. Okay. And, you know what I mean? From say Philly. Mm. A lot of people yeah. I refer back to Flipper and Flipper you know, Andre. So, so yeah. you knew him? Flipper. Yeah, well, I know him personally. Okay. Yeah. And what's going on with him in terms of the community and his fans and so on? Um, How are they feeling about his chance of getting off this case? What, what, what's the view? Well, I don't really follow the story personally, you yes. know what I mean? But he, he's actually a, a part of the video also. I gave him a snippet in the video. Okay, so you know okay. I mean? we should, we should yeah. get to the video. But talk a little bit more about where your career is at the moment. Um, like you said, right now I'm in the island promoting my new album mm -hmm. with VP Records. Um, I got Sprague Benz on the album. Yes. I got two tracks with Beanie Man, Red Rat on the album. Are you signed to Red Square? Shab um, Sprague Benz. Sprague's company? Right, yes. I'm you're part signed of, to them. Yeah, so you, you're actually a Red Square artist. artist. Full red. Everything Full red, red. it's the red. <laughs> yeah, I want everything. <laughs> okay, red. so all right. And VP, what, what, did, what are they doing? Distributing? Yeah, I got a distribution deal with them. Yes. Um, they distributed a lot of my singles. Mm -hmm. um, my first single was um, them sit down for my name, like Back Pocket Rug. Yes. So, um, you know, they heard the song, they really like it. That's how I got introduced to them. And then after that, I was proposed to make an album with them. So it's an entire album that we're looking at right yeah, now? Yeah, man, an this, entire this, compilation. This track that we're about to drop the video for. Right, it's off my album. And is this a good time? Do you feel that like this is a turning point for you? It's a watershed moment for you in your career, you think? Most definitely, you know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean, looking back, five, six, seven years from now, I can say I did this body okay. of work that, you know. But that makes sense because if the, you use this stage the right way right. And, you <laughs> and it propels you into a new place right. in your career growth, you would be ready to do a show. Kind of world. You have yeah, an man. entire album, a compilation right. album that you could go out and perform. Right. Well, I'm actually on an album tour right now. Where? Uh, um, United States. Uh, I think it's 36 cities. Uh -huh. um, I did a couple, couple shows at Red Rat. Um, 
actually this Saturday, you know, I mean, um, I'm in Denver. Yes. And then next week after that, I got a show with Spraga Benz and Kimani Marley in California. All right, let's do the video right now, then. Right. A lot of these people, they go off of what they hear, and they jump and they follow they ears, they follow along. That's why we Jamaican can't really be better. You understand? But instead of, we try to uplift and encourage each other. We always try to break them down. Wanna concern you? Leave it alone. And if you don't know the truth, I bet you just shut, shut up. up. Shut up, shut, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut, shut up. Shut shut them up before me shut it with me. Me name on the winter fresh, but them a chop on it like scum. Enough of them we help them while we pop down, but I got all we up, we now got chopped down. Where was it shot? Um, we actually did it in the middle of the tour, um, in Nashville. And um, a part of it was shot um, in Washington, D.C. also. Maryland, Washington, D.C. area. Yes. Um, by a guy named Psycho. So, um, you know, big up Psycho car. He so worked really hard on it. You know what I mean? Um, it's basically, we, we try to emulate a part of shutters where, you know what I mean, them tie up the guy. And, so I see. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, we just tell him, say, yo, shut up. Shut up. So that was the whole idea behind the video. Okay. Well, I hope you're not a violent artist. No, man. Music. You're nothing like what's in Shutter. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a Shutter. It's good to meet you. It's good to know that you can manage the money yourself. <laughs> yeah, all right. But speaking of Rat, Red Rat, he's yeah. coming up later, I know. He's on yeah. the show, too, this show. Yeah. So he's coming up later on. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming. Respect. All right, so for. there you have him, right here on stage, Cyclone. Look out for him. And he'll be back to tell us the whole story, the big story later on as he progresses in this business of music. And as mentioned earlier, Red Rat is coming up later and later. A sampling of the latest work from the Rhythm Twins, Sly and Robbie, right here on stage. But first, other videos making our video stage this week. <laughs>